Hey everybody, what's up? This is me, and I'm gonna show you guys a little something about uh, what to do with this miner. Uh, what is it? It's a bit. It's been mining me since uh, September 20th. Oh, no, September 13th. Yes, yeah, been pulled. It's pulled me about 30 light coins so far. Wish I would have saved them all. That's about ten thousand dollars if you go look it up. Uh, so I paid like two two thousand for it, roughly, round and about. This is a Ant Miner L3. This is what it looks like. Um, can you see that? I don't know. Just trying to show you what it looks like up close. Um, and uh, what's on top of it is my power supply. It takes like, you know, 10 of these things to get connected to it. You plug them in and pie out. You plug it in and it just runs as loud as like a vacuum cleaner. It's not as loud as a vacuum cleaner. You can still talk, but it's as loud as a, a loud conversation. Like the one I'm having with you. Like if it was, a, if it was like a couple of people talking in the room. So what I'm trying to do is now I'm going to drop this thing in one of these, but... After that, what I'm gonna gonna do? I'm gonna close it up, and it should give me some sort of sound barrier to this loud ass machine that is inside my house right now. And it doesn't produce as much heat as this, as maybe like the S9 does, but this is the L3 Plus. This is the Ant Miner L3 Plus. So go figure. I, I notice I'm not in the screen, um, but I got this rubber made. E glue from Home Depot for about 20 bucks. I'm gonna drill some holes in it right here. There's no real step by step videos on how to do this, so I'm making one. Uh, measured this to the size of the uh, amp miner, my cardboard, uh, as like a rule of thumb. And I'm gonna drill the holes right there. I marked off the corners like that. It's kind of like raised up from the ground a little bit. And what I'm going to do is, uh, well, how the hell? Do you plan on this? Is going to get the job done. This is going to create a six inch hole. As you can see, uh, if I can show you, oh, it says six inches right here. And the hole that's around the amp miners fans is five inch. So I need a little bit bigger circumference. And this is going on here and it's gonna, this is here is a six inch hole. So it kinda six, it's a six and something a little bit bigger than this hole. So that's gonna be cool. I'm gonna still squeeze it through the six inch hole. It's a little bit bigger so I can fit around the actual square fans. The circle around the fans on the amp miner is five inch circles. As you can see, I'll show you. And then the square adds an extra like an inch, like six, six and a half inch. So you wanna get that duct, that duct to uh, go around the squares. That way you can just tape it around with some, some duct tape. Simple enough, right? <clears throat> so, back to this thing right here. This cost about 40 bucks at Home Depot. This part right here, it's a cylindrical drill. I don't know what else it's called. A hole dozer. Hole dozer. That should be my new name. Hole dozer <laughs> yeah now check this out <laughs> so what you do is you, you hook it up you know you buy this other piece right here that hooks into this piece then it goes into these two holes right here locks it in place and then you put it on a nice power drill and then you, you hit that and you, you get the drilling very sharp right here I wouldn't recommend you could saw your somebody's hand off that's pretty fast. 
That's pretty fast. Woo! I can feel the power in that. So that's going to drill a hole right through that, that igloo you see down there right there. And that's what we're getting ready to do. So, come along. I'm going outside. You probably can't come out there with me, so I'm going to leave the phone right there. But, um, if I did it in my house, I'm not sure how much junk would fly around. You know? So I'm going to go outside for a second and see how much junk flies around. And, uh, I will return. Bring my little extender on here. Cats in heat. I never knew. I just got this cat. This is my first cat. And man, this cat had her for about a year since she was a little baby. Had her for about nine months. Now she's in heat. Can't keep her ass out the air. It's crazy. You hear it too. She's just she's going crazy. So now she's seated. I like the way that sound. I like the sound of that. So, I was hoping maybe I could get this on camera a little bit better, huh? Guys are going to want to see this, huh? Yeah, let me try to get this a little better. I'm not going to do you guys like that. You guys going to see that? What's the point of the video if you can't really see the drill? The drill master. I ain't got dust on me. Okay. Let's move this camera to a better place. I'm going to hang it up right here. Turn it around. Oh, I can't turn it around. Alright, sorry. Let me just clip it on my couch. a little bit better. Let's get this view of this on here. Okay, that's good. Alright, there we go. Alright. Going. Now you see that, right? I'm just gonna make two hole, a hole right here and a hole on the other opposite end. I can see a line, kind of like where you can kind of tell where you don't want the hole to go too far below. You can see that how it's made, so that's probably typically where I want this uh, circle not to go past. You know, right about right there. You know. All right there, and here we go. All right, okay. Turn the whole thing. All right. Try this again. Put it up against the wall. Put my foot on it this time. Hold this sucker down. All right. like it's doing is too much too much pressure doesn't allow it to work so you got to kind of slide it on there like kind of like sanding it. it's like you're sanding it through you have to 
penetration. Okay. Not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. I didn't even wrap the plastic off because you can feel the, the stuff through. The, the, the teeth. The teeth come right through the plastic that it was wrapped in. I just said, fuck it. Might take it back when I'm done. What else am I going to do with it? Draw, draw another hole. Look at that. That's clean. That's clean. That's some sort of, it's not styrofoam, but it feels like styrofoam in the middle of it right here. Around this edge right here. It's a clean hole. Clean hole. Clean hole, man. Hole dozer. The whole dozer, man. The whole dozer. Look at that. Clean. It's a layer of plastic right here and another thicker layer of plastic right there. So the inside plastic is thicker than the, the outside layer. Go figure. Flip this thing around. Same thing. Hits it, sticks it in there. <laughs> it's this side here. Oh wow. Gonna have to get something to poke through. There's a whole lot of penetration going on. Maybe I should name my channel that penetration penetration channel. Penetration trades. That's a normal drill bit, as you can see, inside of there. And uh, just so you guys can see what that looks like, I know you're like, what the hell? You're not going to show us what it is? What the hell? Okay. Drill master. Bulldozers. United. Now I got two wheels. I can put it on here. Later. All right. Okay, now you guys know how to handle that, how to do that, and I'm done. Did my part here 13 minutes later. Um, yeah, welcome to Bitcoin, guys. Welcome. Welcome to Bitcoin.